Friends, we have some sad news today. Queen Elizabeth has passed away today, September 8th, 2022. The news was very shocking because I had seen a notification about two hours prior to the announcement that she had been placed under medical supervision. I had no idea that she would decline so quickly. Had the queen been extremely sick the day before? Uh, she had just uh, been there to uh, help install the new Prime Minister Liz Truss. We know she had been battling certain ailments, but there was never any announcement that the Queen was terminally ill and could possibly be facing death imminently. There should be some sort of warning given by the palace weeks or months prior that the monarch is dying. Yes, we know she is quite up there in age, but because of how notable she is, a warning should be given to the people and not an hour or two before. It should be given at least weeks before. This is the statement that Buckingham Palace released early this afternoon prior to her death. Following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. Her son Charles flew to Balmoral to be by her bedside. Princess Anne was already at the castle for various royal engagements. Prince William, Edward, Andrew, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, all followed to be by the Queen during her last moments. Catherine could not make it out to be with the Queen as she had to stay back with her little ones who began their first day of school yesterday. As you know, Prince Harry and Meghan are already in England due to their scheduled engagements, one of which has now been cancelled. God help Great Britain during this unfortunate time of mourning. The Queen has died. We will never forget September 8th, 2022, her platinum jubilee year when the great monarch Queen Elizabeth II took flight and left the earth. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth, for your 70 years of service. To those of you in the UK deeply affected by the news, I stand in mourning and solidarity today.